you would need a USB flash drive of size 16 gigabytes or more. For the internet, I will be using an Ethernet cable. I connect my USB flash drive to the iMac. I open Google search, type open call legacy patcher, and this brings me to the website where I'll be downloading the installation files. Open Core Legacy Patcher is a patching software that enables you to extend the life of your unsupported Mac PC. With Open Core Legacy Patcher, I will be able to install Mac OS Ventura on this iMac 12.1 mid-2011. This would not have been possible otherwise. This is a free software and you can learn more about it on this website. I click on getting started. I go to the setting up section and click on download and build Mac OS installers. I click on open core legacy patcher release apps. I scroll down to assets and select open core patcher gui.app.zip. Once downloaded, I double click on the file to extract the app and run it. I click on open when this message pops up and I am brought to the open core legacy patcher app menu. I click on create macOS installer and select download macOS installer. I select macOS 13.6 from the list of installers and the download begins. The download lasted for 10.5 minutes and the validation lasted for a minute. I put in the system password and I click on OK. Extraction takes about 3 minutes and I click on Yes to proceed. I select Install Mac OS Ventura and select the USB flash drive. I click on Yes and proceed. After 5 minutes, I get a prompt to enter in my password. I enter my password and I click on OK. The creation was successful and lasted for about 65 minutes. Next, I install the OpenCore Legacy Patcher to the flash drive. I click on Install to Disk. I select the USB flash drive and the volume. I enter my password and I click on OK. All goes well and I'm now ready to move on to the next step.